What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video and it's time to go through the road to the title for the number seven seed at Wimbledon, Igis Fiontek. Now she is a junior Wimbledon champion back in 2018. So let's see who she has to get through to get her first Grand Slam title at Wimbledon. Her first round opponent is locked in. She is playing Shay in the first round and she actually has a 1-0 record over Shay. So you would expect that even though Shay is very awkward to play against, Fiontek should get through. In the second round, she could be playing 2010 finalist at Wimbledon, Zvona Reva. And these two have never played before. They're from two completely different generations, but you would expect that Sviontek should get through the 36-year-old. In the third round, Sviontek is most likely to play the 26 seed Martic, who she has never faced before. So that could be an awkward matchup for Sviontek, but again, she should get through based on her experience over the last couple of years. In the fourth round, there's two opponents that she could be facing. One of those could be Muguruza, the 11 seed, who she actually has a losing record against. They've only played the one time, but Sviontek got bageled in that match earlier this year on a hard court, so Sviontek does doesn't want to play Muguruza at Wimbledon. And the other one could be against Jabor, the 21st seed, who Sviontek has a winning record over 1-0. So fourth round could be pretty awkward if she does play against Muguruza because we know Muguruza has done well at Wimbledon before. If she gets to the quarterfinals, there's two opponents that are waiting for her. Potentially could be Sabalenka, the number two seed. Never played her before, which is really interesting considering they're both so young. Never faced off on the WTA. And the other one is Sakari, who she actually lost to at the French Open a couple of weeks ago. So she has a losing record record against Sakari, the number 15 seed, 0-1. So again, the quarterfinals for Sviontek could be very, very awkward if she has to play either of those two players. In the semifinals, two opponents that she might face, number four seed, Sophia Kennan, who she has a winning record over, 1-0, the one match being that French Open final from last year. And the other opponent could be Kvitova, who she's never faced before. Kvitova, the number 10 seed and a two-time former champion at Wimbledon. That could be a very interesting matchup if she does play her in the semifinals. In the final, there are two big names that Sviontek could be facing one of those being the world number one and the top seed Ash Barty who she actually has a losing record over but that one match they played was a couple of months ago on the clay courts so the faster courts could help Sviontek and the other one is the queen of Wimbledon Serena Williams she's never actually played Serena before so if she was to face off against one of the greatest players of all time it'd be the first time ever and it would be in the Wimbledon final a very very tough ask for Sviontek based on their experience so there you have it Igis Sviontek's road to the title the Wimbledon title 2021 let me know down in the comments below how well do you think she can do? Because she is going to be playing against some really tough players and she is one of the favorites to win this tournament. Now that we don't have Halep or Osaka, Sviontek's name has been put up there and she is a former champion in the juniors. So let me know down in the comments below. How far can she go at this tournament and can she win the whole thing? She's going to have to go through some absolute killers to do that. She's going to win Wimbledon. So Igor Sviontek, if she's going to win Wimbledon this year, she's going to have to go through some big names.